Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles Sabansu, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. When we give you guys a fresh perspective on things, and now we see them. And today we got a—I don't even know what kind of show we have for you guys today. But before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. My handle is C T A B A N Z. Follow the channel, same name, Dreamers Pro, and also make sure you check out the Dreamers Pro podcast. We have pinned in the comments below. As you guys know, the Kansas City Chiefs just won the Super Bowl um, in a spectacular fashion, in a thriller, overtime victory. Uh, and at the end of that game, excuse me, forget about the end of the game. Prior to going into that game, people were already saying, some people were already saying like Chris Mad Dog Russo and others that Patrick Mahomes is the most talented or the, the best football player at the quarterback position that they had ever seen ever even better than Tom Brady, who the vast majority of people consider to be the greatest football player, <clears throat> NFL player of all time. Fantastic. As you guys know as well, after the Super Bowl was finished, we got the information that the Super Bowl was the single most watched television event in the history of the United States with over 103 million people. It was 100, yeah, I think over 100 million people tuning in some people are saying 103 some people are saying 120 million so it was a pretty big deal right and why was it a big deal because you had a big draw you had some big names the chiefs and of course you had the 49ers who have a big a fan base and of course you have patrick mahomes so what happens at espn they were trying to concoct um this 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 topic to talk about so they're there talking and in the panel i think it was shannon sharp molly Karam. Pat McAfee, I forgot the last gentleman. I saw the clip yesterday. And they asked the following question. Who is the most popular, active, current um, American star right now in the United States? So Pat McAfee said Patrick Mahomes. The other guest said Patrick Mahomes. And when it got time to Shannon Sharp, would you believe, would you believe that Shannon Sharp said that Patrick Mahomes, that LeBron James is a better, is a bigger draw than Patrick Mahomes. LeBron James is a bigger draw than Patrick Mahomes. Before we even get into his comments, this video is brought to you by our brand new sponsor, Price Picks. Price Picks is really simple. Instead of just selecting a team, you just select two or more players pick more or less their projected stats, and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries, Stephen Curry for more than 25 points, and then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks, and Damian Lillard for more for more than four three-pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And once again, once you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is we want to play this exchange for you now and then we want to come back and continue on the show. Take a listen to that there. If Patrick Mahomes has been box office. He has been box office. You talk about the three Super Bowl MVPs, the two regular season MVPs, but it's hard for me to believe that there's somebody in North American sports bigger box office than LeBron James. He just, mm. He's LeBron. He's LeBron. He's LeBron. And he moves the needle. Clicks, likes, mentions, jersey sales, conversation, $125-30 million in endorsement and salary. It's hard, and, and I love Patrick Mahomes. Shame. I gave him the I gave him the name my homeboy. And then State Farm didn't want to give me no credit, so they started calling him my homie. You see that did Tim and P back? That's messed up. They, they took me out. They took That's me out. Of P Wait, Shannon, hold like on, hold that. on. Put me I don't on. Like put, that me, at all. put me on camera right now. Okay. okay. I get it. 
King, LeBron James, there's been no one. I, I, I'm with you. But you think still now, you don't think it's like LeBron's a little past his prime, no, not winning still- championships, while Patrick Mahomes is in the midst of a dynasty? Yeah, he's in the midst of a dynasty. But name recognition, brand recognition. You said box office. You're not saying who's playing the best. You said box office. Box office means ticket sales. Box off. Hey, P Mac, I thought box office means money. Who generates the most money for whom? That's yeah. what I thought. Box. I don't now, know. Maybe, the maybe, NFL is king. Hey, last bro. time I checked. I'm no, but, but, the NFL, that, most yeah, box but hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. You said. Hold on. Now you said the NFL. I'm saying you saying bo- po- you saying when box office you're talking about that in- in- you talking about that individual, not the entity. Hey, Shannon, I'm going to say this. When I was in high school, Braun was a couple years older than me. His high school team, St. X, came and played the Pennsylvania All-Stars in Pittsburgh. The entire state of Pennsylvania put together an All-Star team to play against LeBron James's high school team. And I was in high school. Sold out the arena. LeBron yeah. has been selling out arenas literally since he's like 15, 16 years old. So I can understand why you're saying what you're saying. And then you think about Omar, who runs the ESPN social media. He's literally made an entire career being considered one of the greatest interneters of all time off of LeBron James and LeBron James's family. Let's not even talk about just LeBron James. On the internet, he's been able to do it. But right now, I mean, if this question was asked like 10 years ago, I think to Molly's point, five years ago, maybe even four years ago before Patrick Mahomes has become mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes, I think LeBron James might be the answer. And I, I, understand complete because he still sells out every a building he goes into Shannon every yeah. building that LeBron goes into is selling out that is just how it's always been so I can see how that's uh yeah I, I, do, mean, think pretty big the, I do think the messy takes pretty interesting though yeah I mean look Go, at from what a global he's done oh, sure. if we're talking global box office so you heard what Shannon Sharp had to say I'm trying to figure out what would possess Shannon Sharp to say this what would possess him to say this Patrick Mahomes plays the most the most popular sport in the United States. Let's look at the viewership of how many people. Um, let's see how many people watch the NFL. The NFL is averaging about seventeen point nine million viewers per game. The NBA is a much smaller number. Now, in aggregate, if we take all of the NFL games. And we combine all of their views, and then we combine all of the NBA games, the average views, then the numbers are pretty close. But if they added more games to the NFL calendar, it's not even close. The fact of the matter is, there's a higher interest for the NFL than there is for the NBA. Whatever movement Shannon Sharp believes he's talking about, maybe by looking at Bleacher Reports, Instagram account, this Instagram account, that Instagram account. LeBron's followers on social media, none of that translates to actually people sitting down and watching LeBron play basketball. It doesn't really translate. It does not. It doesn't translate to people sitting down and watching. There are a lot of people, if you go to Instagram accounts, for example, someone may have 100,000 followers, right? And they may put up a post. Go look and you tell me if the ratio isn't 2 to 3%, maybe 5% if you're good of the aggregate amount of followers you have. So just by looking at those numbers, while I look at the social, it doesn't matter. You got to look at the numbers that you really, really see. And Patrick Mahomes moves the needle. He was just a part of the biggest sporting event in the history of the United States television history, whatever you want to call it, the history. The most viewed game ever was a hundred million plus view game, live viewers across various platforms. The highest viewed game ever for an NBA game was in the 1998 NBA finals featuring Michael Jordan, which brought in about 35 million viewers. There's never been a game like that before. If the NBA were to get 20 million people to watch an NBA finals game, they'd be lucky. Now, if they add up all of the games together over a seven game series, then you get the views. And that's the reason why you have so many games. They knew that. OK, <clears throat> we're going to get X amount of people to watch these games. So if we multiply the games, if we increase the games, then we're going to make more revenue. That's the reason why they did more games. Like, that's the reason why the format was created. But for Shannon Sharp to say that, man. Typical uh, Shannon Sharp. I don't even know what to say. So what I want to know from you guys is who do you think? Um, is a bigger draw right now in sports. Is it LeBron or Patrick Mahomes? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts in the comment section. We catch you on the next show.
Peace.